Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by Louis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and today we'll be looking at something really interesting. So this is basically how to use the cage um, binding system. So this has always existed. It has been used for big animations because I have seen this kind of um, geometry with mesh but I never understood what it did and yeah so I'm going to be showing you guys um, exactly that. So what is this cage? Um, this cage is really handy when you have um, lots of clothes assets for your character. So we, uh, as you can see here we have like two main clothes. We have the um, basic shirt and we also have the jacket. So it's possible for you to actually rig and bind it the normal way. Um, it's just that it's going to take a long time and it's just a lot of try and error to make sure there's no intersection and any error. Um, but this way I'm going to show you today is quite faster and real, uh, reliable. Okay, so how does this work? So it's basically using modifiers. So we're going to be using something called the Surface Default Modifier. Um, I think it came into Blender around 2.79 and since then um, it, this that modifier is really powerful and helpful so uh, let me just show you guys how to get it done so what I've already done so far is I have already binded this cage model so as you can see it's moving appropriately so what things few things should be you should be in mind when creating this model uh, this asset cage model you want to make sure you have good topology of course because this model is going to be deforming your underlying geometry and you want to make sure it's as clean as possible not only for the blender to be able to use it effect efficiently but for you to be able to use it to re um, weight paint and it's easy to manipulate okay so you should bear that in mind also uh, you should make sure it is covering the entire asset so you should make, make sure anything you want it to deform it's inside it completely so you don't run into an error and finally uh, make sure you have enough geometry um, so this is pretty decent um, you don't want to go crazy so you um, so you can have nice playback but you want to have decent geometry so something like this is appropriate like um, appropriate um, so with that said, let's bind it. So let's select this jacket. So as you can see here in the modifier, we have a solid fire, the solidify modifier and the subdivision modifier. Um, what we want to do now is go under the form. You want to scroll down. I think it's the third to the last. You will select the surface deform. Okay. Now it's important that you move this modifier above every other thing because if this is below any other thing if you had to make any changes to the solidify modifier or by mistake add another subdivision it's going to um, disconnect or it's going to destroy the settings which you have here um, in other words it's going to unbind the model from the cage and you don't want that definitely um, so it's important you put it above everything okay so once you have done that you're all good to go so now we want to select this eyedropper tool and select our cage and with that we can hit bind okay now if we are to move this model you can see it's deforming it okay now let's repeat that for the inner shirt now we want to go surface deform push it to the top okay select the cage and bind okay and finally you want to select the buttons surface deform cage bind okay so that's that and now you can basically hide this and importantly you should turn off the render button so that you cannot be able to see this in render and you can hide it from the viewport okay and with that you can have this nice deformation
okay if you notice any error or if you notice some intersection um, one of the biggest problems to that is that you don't have enough geometry there okay so to fix that uh, let's try to fix that slide here so we're having this error here let's see if we can fix that um, we just need to get our cage model and see um, or better still we could fix it in weight paint so this is the error we're getting let's see if we could use weight, the weight paint to fix it so if I grab my blob brush Okay, as you can see, we just need to worry about just one particular geometry. Okay, you could even do some sculpting on it and it works. Okay, so you just need to play with one geometry and all the information are trans is transit. <laughs> all the information is transferred to the underlying geometry. Uh, yeah so that's it guys i hope this tutorial is helpful um if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and if you wish to see more from me don't forget to hit that subscribe button so bye bye for now see you next time